Avengers Endgame is the 22nd film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and this movie follows the events of Infinity War. And after half of all life in the universe is wiped out, the Avengers must reconvene in an effort to stop Thanos. After what transpired last year with Infinity War, I think I speak for a lot of people in saying that I was really looking forward to this movie. And I'd say for good reason. I saw Iron Man when I was nine years old, and for the most part, what the MCU has delivered up to this point has been incredibly impressive. Now, seeing this film, it truly feels like it's the end of an era. And the directors of this film, the Russo brothers, they certainly did not have an easy task when approaching this movie. Avengers Endgame is without a doubt the most epic movie of all time. And considering that it was filmed in tandem with Infinity War, that's something that I would be very concerned about if it was another studio. But as I said, the movies that Marvel has produced thus far have been, for the most part, really impressive. They have continued to stick the landing with these movies that are really these larger than life events, and they have once again done it with Endgame. And after watching 22 of these films spanning 11 years of my life, I could not have been more happy, more pleased with the result of this film. This movie is truly crafted for those people who have been supporting these films since day one. And I was thinking about it on the drive home, but this movie, I can't think of another film within the MCU that has not paid off in some way in this movie. And this is a movie that has such a great theme of family within it. There are numerous characters in this movie that are encountered with the ideas of family, and I think the fans of this series are included in that. Having been with some of these characters for up to 11 years now, I think with what the Russos and others deliver with this film, I think it's truly a gift to us. And there's this idea out there that movies that give fan service, it's kind of seen as a bad thing thing. And that's an idea that although it can be done poorly, I tend to fight back on. But with this film, and something I anticipate The Rise of Skywalker also doing in December, but this movie delivers things to fans that they have always wanted and that they didn't even know they wanted. And there's a shot in this movie that it's honestly so epic in scale and size and in time that it brought a tear to my eye. Which again, is something that I wanted from a movie that is intended to wrap up an entire era of filmmaking. What Marvel has done with this series has never been done before. Nothing on this scale has been created before, and the fact that they pulled it off, it's truly astounding. This is a movie that is able to successfully juggle multiple different narrative threads simultaneously, all of which are including callbacks and references to films that were released years ago, which is such an impressive feat from not only the Russo brothers, but the writers of this film, Marcus and McFeely. And considering that this movie is three hours long, I thought that this film moved at an incredibly brisk pace and never really dragged at all. I was locked into this movie for its entire runtime, which is such a testament to the way that this movie is paced. Because not only does this film feature these enormous battle sequences, but it also features these very intimate character moments. But again, the fact that this movie was able to balance both of those elements as well as it does, that's just so impressive. I don't really know if you guys can tell but this movie blew me away. And given that I just saw this movie, I don't really have any complaints that are egregious enough to mention in this review. But right now where I stand, from top to bottom, this movie's absolutely astounding. As a massive fan of this series, I was so pleased to see a movie that ties together 22 films in a way that feels cohesive and earned. Avengers Endgame is a love letter to the fans and is one that I think is sure to please a vast majority of them. Now, now, usually at this point in my review is when I do comic book recommendations, and although I could recommend Infinity War and I could recommend Infinity Gauntlet, this is a film that isn't really attempting to adapt any comic books that at least I'm aware of, so if you do want to go see this film, I would honestly just recommend that you rewatch the other movies, that way you can appreciate all of the callbacks and all of the references that are in this film. So did you guys see Avengers Endgame? What did you think about it? Leave your thoughts and opinions down below. And and as always, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you liked today's video. And if you did, you can click on the link down below and subscribe to my channel to see more movie reviews and movie-related things. Guys, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.